Yes, lads, welcome back to another custom tactics video on the channel. We are looking at the 4312 today. Let's get into it. Does your team look like this? Do you struggle to complete those game changing SBCs and play with the best players in FIFA 23? If you said yes to any of this, then you need to get over to AOA and secure yourself some cheap and reliable foot coins and use code ALP at checkout for an extra 3% off. Jeez. Jumping in with the defensive style, we do leave this on balance. It is a very good press information if you're losing, though. So if you are losing, don't be afraid to whack this into press after possession loss. I'm not a fan of constant pressure just because it feels a really like just a bit weird. Like they press, but they don't press. If you get me, but then sometimes it works. But I always find the press after possession loss is perfect just so for pushing you guys up the pitch. Width, we play 35. Keeps it nice and tight in the middle. Going forward, this formation is, is unreal. It does sometimes lack defensively, but whacking this down to 35 definitely helps with um, conceding less goals through the middle, those cutbacks, you know, all the stuff that we love in FIFA. <laughs> um, depth, we play 60. Um, it is the perfect depth right now, just because the guys that are left playing, like me, you and me, we love a 1-2 over the top through ball. And... Find 50 is a bit, 55 is a bit too low for me. 60 is perfect. Anything above that, I find it a bit more sweaty, as in like I struggle a bit harder to defend those over the top through balls. But if, if with the depth, just make sure you're using whatever you feel comfortable. So use 55, use 50, use 45, use whatever you want. Um, but 60 for me. Build a play is a balance. Chance creation is direct passing. I should just record that and play it down the mic every single time because it would save me some breath. Um, EA really do need to work on balancing this ch these chance creation methods so we can use different tactics without penalizing ourselves. Um, but direct passing, it's the end of the game. We don't mind, we won't complain too much. With, we leave it on 50. The formation is quite narrow when you're attacking, but we do get a, a bit of width from one of the strikers in the fullback. Players in the box, I just leave it on five. I want the, the cam, one of the center mids, and obviously both the strikers to be getting into the box. Um, and this does that perfectly after testing it this weekend. Corners one, free kicks one. We are just limiting how often we get hit on those counter attacks because, who even in the, in the end game, do you really want to be hit on counter attacks? I don't. So jumping in with the instructions, but before we do, if you haven't already, sub to the channel, drop a like on today's video if you found it useful, and. When we do hit 10k, we are going to be giving away a couple of copies of EAFC 24 to you guys. So stick around for that. Um, but diving in with the instructions, we have Sun, who's our comeback striker. The purpose of him coming back is that he is going to make up our 442. This will defend in a 442. It you can't have this defend in the 4312. But what I did find when doing that is that you're a lot more exposed in the wide areas. You don't get as you get don't get to make as many mistakes as you normally would. Whereas if you've got the left mid and right left mid and right mid, you can miss a challenge with Sun or a Tal, and you've still got your full back there to mop up. It just gives you those extra bodies, and it's good for when you want to do the second man pressing. So there's a bit of detail on that one for you. But Sun plays as left mid when we're defending. When we're attacking, he just stays central. We haven't got him to get on behind. Whereas Rafael Liao, I, I just prefer him as a striker like over Sun. Sun is brilliant, but as an out-and-out forward, Liao is king. Um, stay central, get him behind, nothing else. He's just going to stay up top, um, push the top line. And when we get the ball, he's going to try and make those runs in behind the defence. So we'll push the defence back as the direct passing likes to do. The cam is just on stay forward against the box. We did used to have players on balanced on the defensive support, but now we play the stay forward because I don't really like him interfering too much with the midfield. It just gets a bit bitty. So just keep him out of the mix and then get into the box then. So, but he's not going to be as far forward, obviously, as Liao and Sun when attacking, but he's going to come in at the top of the box towards the penalty spot almost. And yeah, he's going to be like a deep cut back option for you, which is amazing. So because Sun is coming back in that left mid position, Bellingham has to be stay central, uh, cover center, stay back while attacking. And then Goretzka is your CDM always. His tactics will never change. Stay back while attacking, cover center. So these two guys will sit in front of Beckett and Varane. And Bellingham is more of a box-to-box -box for me. 
and Goreska is more of a DM, you know, Goreska, um, Bellingham, I like to do a bit of everything with. And then my right mid or right center mid is just on cover wing. We did used to play get forward, but I prefer like on the balance because it just, it just kind of does what he thinks is right. And for the most part, AI in the midfield and when they've got as good as AI as a tower, I, I'm, I quite enjoy it just kind of doing whatever it wants. So as you notice now at all, when we're defending, we'll defend in front of Kalulu. Um, for this attacking centre mid, I recommend you have a, or a right footer on the right hand side or a left footer on the right, left hand side if you switched it. So if you wanted your right striker to come back and be the right mid, obviously your left centre mid would be cover wing and then this guy would be cover centre if you wanted to flip this around. So you could just flip these tactics around if you want to if you want um this is the way i have it set up but yeah you want players like Nkunku, Atal, um renato sanchez you know good dribbling players half decent at defending um and good attacking stats but then i like that for all, all across my midfield the main difference between these guys is that Atal is a much better dribbler Moving into the defense because the cover my attacking center mid is on the right hand side if you watch the 4-3-3 video, you understand that this is what we did with that formation as well. My fullback, my attacking fullback is on the left-hand side. So if you want your right back to go forward, you really should be having your left centre mid going forward just because it doesn't create that imbalance. So basically when Davis pushes on, he's just on balance and overlap. Um, Bellingham is going to be there and he's going to cover that space left by uh, Davis. So he's going to be a lot tougher than if you had... If I had a towel on this side, for argument's sake, and a towel was going forward and Davis was going forward, there would be a bit of a gap for someone to run a counter-attack into. So it's just making sure you've got that balance. So if you want your left centre mid getting forward, your right back goes forward. So it's on the opposite side. Centre backs, touch them. I'll find you. It's the end game. I still will. I still will. I promise. Um, and then Kalulu, my other fullback, is stay back while attacking and overlap. Obviously, Kalulu is a centre back, but this formation is set up, so I can also play the 3 4 2 1. But if you've got a traditional fullback, you can always send both fullbacks forward, up and left on the D pad. But I recommend, as a starting point, just having stay back while attacking. And goalkeeper is then comes across his sweeper keeper. Let's just get straight into the game. Um, we're hoping to see. The boys form at the top level. And you know what? This has been one of my favorite formations of the year so far. Just because it just get I think it's got a good balance with attack. And oh, we're gonna play rivals. We're gonna play rivals. Oh, it stinks a little bit. We're, we're winning too many as well in rivals when we're doing these videos, so we're on a bit of a streak, but we're gonna avoid getting promoted because you know I don't want my cups to be too sweaty. But this formation is probably, well, if you saw my tier list, I believe this is in my S tier. It's either S tier or top of A tier. It's such a fun formation. And I started using it when Boras posted his video all the way at the start of the year. And in my opinion, it's way better than the 4 one 2 and 2 narrow, which sets out similar. Obviously, defends in a 4 4 2, which is sick. Um, we're hoping this game is not going to be too sweaty, but he's doing step overs right from the go, so probably is. Um, yeah, let's just assess. What is that? Again, classic ARP fashion. There is no warm up game. There, we are just diving straight in. Sen is obvious I can come back um winger as well. Or come back striker even. So used to saying wingers because using the four three threes. Nice. Very timely Let's go. And so your out ball is always gonna be this Alfonso Davis card. Go on. Leon Goretzka plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the center of midfield. Oh, oh, told him dream. He thought he was gonna square it. That's the one I've been doing a lot recently, the ball roll, and then looking like almost like a pump baking and then sending them to the gulag. Um Oh, he's messed it up big time. Oh, well done. Youssef Atal. That's Atal terrible. Red timed and it goes in. I told you, if you watched the last video, Atal is the most crazy midfielder in the game with these Travellers. 
greens, reds, whatever, it don't matter. They just go in every single time. I think you'll have about an hour to get him done, which to be fair, if you're watching this video early, you can okay. definitely get him done nice and quick because um, you only need 12 or 15 through balls with a tar to just jump straight into squad battles. And yeah, just get it done. Because I think I just, yeah, I see I've noticed I've got no words. Um, he's just insane. His ability on the ball is mental. He he's super fast, super agile. And if that doesn't tell a few, the Travellers you can score with him are insane. Shall we just do another one for the crack? Oh, we're not going to get a chance here. We can... Ooh, there you go. I thought he was going to break down my midfield then. He's going to break down my midfield. It don't matter, because Becker is cracked. Becker's still so good, though. If you're using him, you're definitely loving him. Tal Atter again. Can we win the header? Oh. Oh, my God. His goalkeeper looked like he was going to do some something special then. Get back then, Alfonso Davis. The only issue I do, would say is that now and again, you might find... The fallback is out of position, obviously, because he's pushing forward. If they break fast, they are going to be out of position. But that's like a lot of formations, to be honest. The pros outweigh the cons massively. Just because you're going to get this kind of... Look at the space he creates out here is well worth him just being away from home. Oh. Oh, my God. Just the L1 stop was enough. Oh, no. Liao. We're all over this guy right now. I wonder. Oh my God, what's going on? Is that a towel? Oh, oh. His first game of the day, I can't hit the greens right away. It doesn't matter with a towel, though. He can hit some reds, as you saw in the first goal. But we're going to only show the first half of this game. Um, Again, hopefully EA release some more draft objectives because this like these sorts of videos is the reason why i released them is so you can just jump straight into draft and you've got like a set of tactics for everything that was always a goal of the channel just to make sure you guys can use different formations in draft rather than you know being devastated when you get like a like an off formation like a 4-1-4-1 there we are. The green times are back. Travellers are king. And Alfonso Davis can do them as well. He was like a, a towel. Ratal. Hold my beer.